You're in court in Thailand for reasons that we are not going to go into. Oh. Who do you choose as your defence lawyer and why? You've got Iggy Pop, Brandon Flowers, or your mum Peggy? Oh, God. Um, I'd say that maybe that Brandon Flowers, he could, he's got a believable face, hasn't he? He has. He's got, he's got an angelic little got face. got an angelic face on. My mum would be too busy just going like that. I'm going to f***ing kill him. <laughs> <laughs> Iggy Pop be too busy dancing, wouldn't he? Yeah. <laughs> Brandon Flowers, man. I reckon okay. him. We was on a plane with him once, behind him, and we were checking out. What was, have a guess what he was watching on the plane. Go on. Have a f***ing guess. You won't get it. Have three guesses. Peppa Pig. No. The Wire. Words. No. The Little House on Prairie. <laughs> <laughs> he was watching it. Like, oh, on his computer. He on chosen his, like, to download he it. Yeah, not one that was on the, like, the, he had his own thing, he's into it. We were like, ah. <laughs> I mean, I was into it, actually, that one. I was like, ah. <laughs> The Little House on Prairie, man. Watched it for the good, like, how long the fight was? About six hours. Liam Gallagher. Yes. It's a pleasure seeing you, my friend. I knew, man. You've been doing gigs all over the world. Yeah. Is performing live still one of your your favourite parts of being a bona fide rock and roll star? Without a doubt, man. It is hard as you get older and that, without a doubt, you know what I mean? The voice is not as strong as it used to be, but I think for about an hour, I can I can move a crowd, you know yeah. what I mean? And he wants... He wants two hours of me, you know what I mean? I don't want two hours of me. Right, okay. You know what I mean? I certainly don't, I don't want an hour and a half of me, you know what I mean? <laughs> um, Serge from Kasabian told us recently oh, that yeah. he's got a strict rule of no alcohol until exactly 30 minutes before stage time. Right. Do you have a tried and tested formula don't that you like? Don't drink me. I don't drink before I go on stage. I haven't done for, I think it was a gig that I did at Wembley when it went a bit mad. I think I just got divorced and I think I drank a lot and it we went out to about 50 billion people or something and I'd been drunk so I've not drank since then man. Well that's very impressive and was yeah. that something you realised when you kind of came off you thought mm, maybe yeah, that wasn't yeah, you 100%? Can't, you, can't, you can't be, I mean I'm, I look pretty drunk on stage anyway and I sound pretty drunk most of the time so I me, mean, I've just, I have the tea don't I? I have the, the apple cider vinegar with honey and the tea and that man, no booze for me. Lots of water but when I come off and it's been a decent gig then I'll, you know, I'll have a couple of drinks later okay. than that, you know what I mean? But if I've got another one tonight, I'm pretty good man these days, man, you got to... Well, no, good on you. It's probably better to remember the experience as well, I would imagine. Well, I mean, is, I know you've obviously course. performed all over the world, but... but when I drink, though, I want a cigarette as well, you know what I mean? So, once the drink and I start smoking, then before you know it, I have one cigarette a day, and that's right after I come off stage. Right, OK. I'm proper disciplined, man, okay. these days. Um, when I uh, heard that you were going to be opening for the Rolling Stones, mm. my first reaction to that was, wow, how amazing is that going to be? But also, for you, it must be really nice to still have some life boxes left to tick. Am well, I right in saying without that? Without a doubt, man. If it can't be the Beatles, then it's got to be the Stones. So, I think the Beatles were more of a... The more pioneers as a, as a better band, but I think a rock, as a rock and roll band and a band that had a had a laugh and got to a lot of naughty stuff. No one, no one comes near the Stones. I think you know what I mean. So they are the best rock and roll band in the world. You know what I mean? And they're still going. So watching them on stage and all that tackle was just like you know, go and check them out. And that's yeah. what it's about. You know, they're the ones who started it. And there's Keith Richards having his herbal tea before he goes yeah, on stage. Yeah, you reckon, don't you? But I don't <laughs> know. But I met them beforehand anyway, and they were cool, man. Um, I, mean, I don't think they knew who I was, you know what I mean? Of course they do. And it's not even that with the lights. I'm not bothered about light shows and that, man. It's just the set list. It's just another one after yeah. another one, you know what I mean? So, simply for the devil happens, you know I mean? jumping jack flash the happens. And all that stuff, Peter Black. So they got to be respected, man. I'd like to do a little game of showbiz scenarios with you, Liam. That's what we're going to do. I'm going to give you a scenario, and there'll be three possible scenario. people. Yeah, you can only choose one person for this particular scenario. Right. Here we go. There's a body in the boot of the car. Oh, yeah. Who do you call for help? And why? You've got Keith Richards, you've got Tom from Kasabian, or Richard Ashcroft. Who are you going for? Oh, I mean, that's mighty, that is. <laughs> Who, like, Tom from Kasabian would just <laughs> shit, man. So he'd, he'd just, he'd draw attention, you know what I mean? Would he? Yeah, I mean, if I, have I killed him or something? Have I killed this person? Or, well, or just, just yeah, there's a body in the boot of the like, car. In the boot of the, no, I wouldn't call him, man, because he'd just, he'd bring the house down, you know what I mean? <laughs> Keith Richards... He wouldn't be much good either, would he? He'd end up in the back of the car with a body, wouldn't he? You know what I mean? He'd just fall in, wouldn't he? Ashcroft, man, could be... I think Ashcroft could be pretty sensible, but then again, he's mad as well. I don't, I don't know, I won't call any of them. No, OK, OK. I well, I'd swerve a lot of them, man. Swerve a lot, OK, fair enough. That, that is a new <laughs> option for showbiz yeah, scenarios, yeah. I like that. Of, yeah, get rid of that one. I wouldn't have any of them feed it to okay. draw the attention, wouldn't it? Uh, we've talked about you moving house, mm. uh, and all three of the following people need to crash at your new place okay. uh, for a week, but you only have room for one of them, oh. slash can stand a thought of anybody staying in your house who, who do you choose to stay for a week and why we've got Stormzy mm -hmm. Man City legend Sean Gota feed the goat and he will score mm. or Bonehead gotta be Bonehead man Bonehead's coming round Bonehead man and he's a good he's a good handyman as well Bonehead so if there's anything <laughs> if anything that the builders have sort of like cut corners on 
Yeah. He'd be, he'd be up there, man, you know what I mean? He's, he's, he's good, he's good. He used to be a builder anyway, so, like, he's, I'd have him around, man. Some amateur plumbing from bone here. Yeah, That's man. always nice. OK, you're in court in Thailand for reasons that we are not going to go into. Oh, Who do you choose as your defence lawyer and why? You've got Iggy Pop, Brandon Flowers or your mum, Peggy? Um, I'd say that maybe that Brandon Flowers. You could, he's got a believable face, hasn't he? He has. He's got he's got an angelic little he's got face. An angelic face. So I mean, man would be too busy just going like that. I'm going to f***ing kill him. <laughs> <laughs> Iggy Pop, too busy dancing, wasn't he? Yeah. Brandon Flowers, man. I reckon okay. him. We was on a plane with him once behind him and we were checking out what he was. Have a guess what he was watching on the plane. You won't get it. I had three guesses. Pepper Pig. No. Um, the Wire. Wire. No. The Little House on Prairie. <laughs> he was watching it. No, he wasn't. He was watching the whole th on his computer. <laughs> I mean, I was into it actually. That one, I mean, what, what, what. <laughs> the little house on prairie man watched it for a good, like how long the fight was about six hours. Well, that's amazing to know, isn't it? So you know where he's coming from. He's, uh, he's a nice man. Speaking of flights, um, your suitcase goes missing at the airport. Mate, tell me about it. Already has done in Madrid. Oh, it's still sitting oh. there. Went to Cannes to do that supersonic film, which is a great film. All right, it's all right. My bits are good and that, but anyway, okay. okay. So I know, and he's coming through the airport to go on holiday, I think. You know, the people are like, they're just too busy looking at your head, aren't they? Going, oh, is it him? And they just sent it through without the tag on. Oh, my goodness. And then they turn around and they're going, oh, we'll give you 200 quid. And we're like, what's that for? The <laughs> toothpaste. <laughs> you know what I mean? 200, you know what I mean? I've been at camp, so half of my gear was all... You've got the South of France gear. Well, I've got you. my top-notch gear, you know what I mean? So it's, I'm not... You know, whether people like it or not, I've got some decent... Cagoules in there, you know what I mean? Yeah, and they're like, not cheap. And they've gone. <laughs> I've got some cool shoes in there, just gone. And oh, I know man. they're sitting in Madrid Airport now. Some lazy f just can't be asked. I didn't have a tag on it either, so it's probably my fault. But do you reckon there's some some a Spaniard running well, around well, wearing I'll, your I'll shoes be there and cagoules? Soon, man. I'll be able to sniff them out, man. <laughs> but yeah, what was the question? Well, the, you've got nothing to wear. This is where I'm going with the showbiz yeah. scenario. Um, now the following people are on the same bill as you at the festival. Whose clobber are you going to borrow? And your three options are Ed Sheeran... Never. <laughs> Mick Jagger or Craig David? Oh, Jesus Christ, <laughs> man. I'd rather be... I'd rather be naked, man. <laughs> I'd rather set fire at myself. Just... <laughs> torch myself. Right, go out there, Craig David just wears white, doesn't he? You know what I mean? So that's not a good one, is it, at a festival? Mick Jagger's... Come on, man, I ain't getting into his gear. You know what I mean? He's a skinny little thing, isn't he? Yeah, he is. Ed Sheeran. No. You're going to swerve all three again? Swerve all three, mate.